So the first wire I'm throwing on is the negative. So here's the negative wire coming up and I got it over here. Nice and tight, not gonna go anywhere. So next I figure we can do the ground. I switched to a 10 gauge just to uh, be able to get this little ring terminal on here. So if you can see a star washer, then the ring terminal, and then a lock washer. Look here. Okay, so now that's grounded. The last wire to connect is going to be the positive, but this positive wire has to go through a special circuit breaker. Ground fault protection device. Now it's basically a pair of circuit breakers. So uh, this is one circuit breaker for 300 volts DC, 50 amps, and then this pair is for one amp, and this is for the ground. If the ground detects anything more than an amp of current, it shuts the whole thing down. So I just pulled all these little tabs. You have to pull them down so that it can get on the DIN rail. The DIN rail locks in right here in the back of the circuit breaker. So out of the bottom of the circuit breaker, there's a green and a negative. The green, I ran up to the ground bus bar. The negative has to go to the negative battery. So it's over here. Uh, so I just stripped a little bit and I'm gonna put a ring terminal on the end. There we go. Now we just have the positive wire. Before I cut this wire, I'm gonna throw some more red tape on here. On the front of the circuit breaker, we have a positive and a negative. The positive side is from the solar panel. The negative side goes to the charge controller. If I go and turn it on, off, good. So it is off. This surge protection device right here, uh, these are the wires. This is a 150 volt unit, and this is going to be on the 48 volt side of the battery. All of my ground wires are bonded together on this bus bar. All right, the surge protection device is hooked up. Good to go. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.